What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this turbo tutelage is it deck. Uh, I'm really enjoying this one. We only did get one win, uh, but I still recommend you go check out that first video. You gotta see what we're trying to do. If you don't know by now, we're turboing out uh, Teferi's tutelage. Pretty straightforward, uh, but it's actually a really fun time. Uh, this this deck does a pretty good job of dealing with you know early game creatures, things like that, things that you'd expect to see on the best of one ladder, uh, and then being able to turbo out the uh, the tutelage and then just draw a bunch. Um, it's not perfect. We only got one win in the last video, but uh, I'm hoping we can get at least one or two more here, um, and I feel pretty confident. So we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, do we like this hand? In a weird way, yes. Um, Here's why. Uh, I am okay with a turn two cathartic reunion when we have frantic inventory in our hand. Frantic inventory is the perfect discard outlet for cathartic reunion because it, in the long term, helps you. And now we've got a turn one shock here. So I feel pretty good about it. It's not great, but I'm glad we kept the shock here against a, uh, a knight. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Uh... What do we discard? What do we discard? Excuse me, exile. Uh, I'm gonna dis or exile a thrill. Uh, that seems a little strange, I know, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's do this. Okay, well, we did get a blue source. Um, it's a Taft blue source, but we did get a blue source. Gonna take a hit here. Albeit a small one. Um, I'm going to Cathartic Reunion, I think. Uh, and discard these two. Great. That was fantastic. So now we've got a really good Blitz uh, to be able to exile something here. Also just have Teferi's Tutelage, which is good. Ooh, and a Shock. Um, Alright, well let's throw this out there. Mill a card. Excuse me, two cards. Uh, what do we discard? What do we discard? Probably just an island. As much as I love the island, uh, eh, probably was not. That was a bit of a mistake, I think. Um, okay. And we pass here. We'll see how they want to do this. Um, gonna probably have to kill this and not this. Um, just because... They can power this up in response. Um, but we do get rid of one of the big threats here. Uh, granted, they can bring it back, but we'll see. These blitzes will be very good against that. Uh, let's go ahead and opt first. We'll discard that. Okay. Play this. Um, and I think we pass. Blitzing something here and then playing Teferi's Ageless Insight next turn, most likely. Woo! That is a very good card. And thankfully, we don't have a creature, so it doesn't really. Um, but that's definitely a good target for, uh, for that, so I'm happy with it. Play the. Ageless Insight here. We will play the land. Um, just have a couple extra blue sources here, and then we'll pass. Alright. Um, let's kill one of these. We could kill the Yarox Familiar, um, and maybe that's... Or Fin Lurker, excuse me. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Um, but it's a bit tricky against this. We really need a Storm's Wrath. To be honest. I would take that over almost anything at this point. <laughs> um, yeah. Mill a lot of cards. Uh, and we get to Storm's Wrath, which just kind of resets things. Ooh, they had some good stuff in here. Uh, Underworld Dreams would have annihilated us. Um, gonna play the blue land. And Storm's Wrath. Thankfully, that exiles as well, so... Or, excuse me, I keep saying it exiles. It does not exile. Please disregard. I said that in the first video as well. Um... Alright, let's play Frantic Inventory. Uh... 
We should be able to mill him out this turn. Uh, Cathartic Reunion. Discard the tapped, uh, one of the tab lands, and then of course a mountain. There we go. Look at that. A strong start. Uh, that's exactly what we're looking to do. Uh, disregard my Storm's Wrath comment, but um, other than that, that was perfect. That's exactly what we were looking to do. We manage the board, we manage expectations until we get to the point where we can just draw endlessly, essentially. Alright. Let's go. Feeling good. Feeling pretty good about this. Elmo C. I like that name. Alright. Uh, this is a very weird hand. Uh, let's try it, but I don't have high hopes here. If we're against like a mono red deck, okay, well, we're not. Um, that could have been a problem because we really only have Storm's Wrath. Knowing that they're a bit of a slower deck, hopefully, um, I'm going to lean on the Swiftwater Cliffs here first and not opt turn one, but, you know. I think that's a bit of a semantic at that point, but that's okay. Uh, sorry for the frames, by the way, guys. I know our network's been terrible lately. Um, we did some work on it. It was doing well for a while. Kind of upset that it uh, kind of stopped. Oh, I, f I wonder... Look at that. Now we have more even lighting. Kind of. Also, yes, I'm wearing a collared shirt. I don't really know. I felt fancy today. That's literally all it was. <laughs> uh, let's do this. We'll scry one. Uh, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Then we'll pass. This just represents a shock. So that's why we're waiting on the opt. Again, you kind of get to wait till the last possible moment for most of... Excuse me. Most of the deck. Expecting like a euro. Or an euro, not a euro. Uh, but a cultivate works the same way, essentially. So that's fine. Good news is we don't care about life totals, so like Uro and things like that really don't matter to us. Ugin really matters to us, so I'm really hoping they don't get an Ugin out. Uh, let's discard that, or scribe bottom. Uh, willing to bet these Storm's Wraths are not going to be doing that much, but... Discard an island here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we do get to leave a shock up here. Granted... Probably not going to do very much. Whew. Uh, I did mention it in the first video, but if you're uh, if you're not already entered to win the Zendikar Rising bundle, uh, you can certainly do that. The, uh, the winner will be chosen on the 28th of September. So you pretty much have all month. Um, and we're, we're giving away a free bundle. All you got to do is subscribe and hashtag Zendikar as a comment on literally any video. Does not matter which. Uh, yes. That's good. That's very good. Um, kind of just hoping they don't have, like, a... I don't think they would have a counter, but, like, just in case. You never know. Uh, what do we discard? What do we discard? I'm gonna discard a Storm's Wrath. Okay. Uh, let's play Mountain, just so we've got a Shock left up again. We do want to keep ourselves, you know, as open as we can to whatever possibility they might have. Uh, clearly, they have Brazen Borrower, so if they bounce this, we just get to, you know, shock it back or something. All right. See what they do. I need to find more royalty-free playlists. This is great. Just having more music in the background is nice. Opponent really not doing too much. Um, <clears throat> they played one card so far. Essentially. So here we get to Ageless Insight and then Opt. Um, that's scary. Casualties of War. I mean, I fully expected it, but that's a scary card. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess they would have played it last turn, right? All right. Let's opt. Let's get rid of as much as we possibly can. Nice here as well. We get to draw an extra card, obviously, thanks to the insight. 
our opponent being a bit slow. Uh, do we care about Blitz? Probably not. That might be incorrect. We may find that we want it, but... Alright, mill four. Please hit all casualties of war. I don't like that card. Against us, that is annoying. It's only a two for one, but it's a very strong two for one, because obviously combo pieces, so... Okay. Eh, not great. Um... But here we are. Real little confused by this uh, timer here. Why um why they're taking quite so long when they're not doing anything is my thing. Uh, maybe they're they're just having connection issues as well. That's a very definite possibility. We are a little bit. All right. Look at this piano. Yo. This makes me say this sounds like video game music. Uh in a past life, by the way, for those of you who don't know, um, I was in a band for a while. And uh I played drums in a band, and so Music, while video and photography and graphic design and all those things are very strong passions of mine, um, music is as well. And so, as this this music is not amazing by any means, but it's really nice. It's just fun to have backgrounds, so I like it. <clears throat> oh, that was nice. That little do do do. I like that. <laughs> all right, let's go, opponent. What you doing? I think. We may just end up in a timeout situation with them, which kind of sucks. I don't like that, but it is what it is. They're not doing anything. They've got plenty of things to do, I would imagine. <clears throat> All right. Don't really know what that was about, but here we are. All right. Cathartic Reunion. We're going to discard this, and we'll discard this. And we're going to mill a lot. This is insane with uh, Ageless Inside Out, by the way. <laughs> Look at all these cards we draw. So we win this turn, I imagine. One thing to note, though, you know, with these two out... Okay, yeah. That was a weird, that was a very weird game. Um, hey, we ranked up. Go us. Um, one thing to note, though, with the Ageless Inside Out, you since you're drawing extra cards, you do need to be very cautious of your deck total um, or your deck count just because, you know, there is a possibility that you just mill yourself. And, like, while you can time it really well and you can still have zero cards in your deck, as long as your opponent does, you can make them lose first. But... Um, if you, you know, have five cards in your deck and you play a Cathartic Reunion with Ageless Inside Out, you're drawing six, and so you actually don't do very well there. This is a very strange hand, but we're going to try it. We need untapped lands. There we go. Um, <clears throat> good. That's very good for us. Um, in that case, I'm just going to do this again. I'm going to keep it. Hey, it's a land. Um, we're going to shock here, obviously, if they play anything out like that. It's like an aura deck, um, which is a very good deck, <coughs> but we've got blitz here, so that's helpful. Uh, we'll discard the inventory. Despite that being a very good source of card draw, it, when you play your first one, it's a little underwhelming, you know? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, Naya. Didn't expect that, I'll be honest. Um, let's throw this out there. Let's throw this. We'll discard a mountain. Storm's Wrath is pretty solid. Mill a bunch. 
Uh, let's go ahead and opt. Technically, that was incorrect, I guess. We should have waited for the blitz here. Uh, just because against a deck like this, if they uh, get too many opportunities to just throw a bunch of stuff on one creature, it's a little difficult to deal with it, but we'll do the best we can. Oh! Oh, this is a Storm Herald deck. Oh, snap. Okay, I see you. Dude, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, I'm in. <clears throat> well done. That's awesome. This is not your expected Storm Herald deck. Uh, all right, so they're all exiled. We gonna kill that <laughs> uh, as quickly as humanly possible. Um, so I think we actually wait though, don't we? That's gonna be really difficult to wait, um, but we should. All right, let's do this. Ooh, we'll discard not. Now they mill twice as many cards. Uh, if they've got another Storm Herald, the reason we're waiting is in response we can hit it with the uh, Blitz, I believe. So we're going to try that. Oh, nice. Okay. Again, we don't have to do anything quite yet. Um, we'll see if they've got like an enchantment that they want to play on one of these, and then we get to... Okay, that's fine. Uh, this is actually perfect for us because now we get to Storm's Wrath and just sweep. Perfect. And that's where we really get them is we devalue their stuff here. So now they're out of mana. Uh, they lose their creature they were going to enchant and what's left is an attacking Storm Herald which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, they mill for... Uh, I think we kind of want to take this route for the time being. We'll discard this because we're not going to get to play it. We really kind of just need to get as many mills as we can here. Um, this may be incorrect. We should have maybe Storm's Wrath, but... Oh no, we're going to miss it by one land, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we missed it. Oh no, we didn't. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. No, yeah, we did. Yep. If we had gotten an untapped land, we could have done it, but we, we messed it up. Wow, we were one land away. Well, that's okay. It happens. Well done, opponent. We could have very easily just uh, Storm's Wrath. The reason I didn't, let me clarify there, uh, if they just had another Storm Herald, it would not have mattered um, because essentially they just get to attack us immediately anyway <clears throat> and power it up like crazy. So there wasn't really, while that would work if they don't have a Storm Herald in hand, it wouldn't have worked otherwise. And this is Storm Herald deck, so I'm assuming that they could. So I was going for the win, not necessarily the way to prevent us from losing. Um, I don't think that was wrong. I think we could have drawn very... I, I think it was within our power to have drawn an untapped land and been able to, to opt as well. Um, so I'm a little upset by that. But, you know, it is what it is. You live and you learn. Overall, a 3-3 three and three record, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, this deck is very focused, uh, is what I will say. Like it's, like its name suggests, it's a turbo tutelage deck. So it's very focused on just the Teferi's tutelage aspect of it. Um, thankfully, we didn't ever get into a position where all they were able to deal with was essentially the Teferi Stutelage. Um, the Ageless Insight's very good as well to, to keep us moving forward, so I was happy there. Um, overall, it was pretty good. Uh, it was perfectly fine. I don't think it's an amazing deck, but, um, I really, really like the focused aspect of it. And on the best of one ladder, it deals pretty well with the early aggro decks, which you expect to see quite a number of. Uh, so overall, I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really hope you did. Um, this, it's fun to try out new decks like this uh, and and turbo versions of these decks. So I do encourage you to to play around with you know your configuration of things. Maybe try and figure something else out that might work better. Uh, take a deck like a tutelage deck and turbo it out. See if that works better for you. Uh, but either way. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Make sure to enter that giveaway, and uh, I will see you very soon for another gameplay video. Thanks so much, guys.